unboxing here. And this is a product by Aimtom. Um, so this is the uh, Power Pal X SPS 155 series. It's a hundred. It has a hundred and fifty-five watt hours, forty-two thousand milliamps. And this is uh, supported by the MM or the MPPT, and it's the uh, maximum power point tracking. Um, has uh, three USB ports, AC outlet one, and it's got a car port one, and then it also has a 12 volt DC uh, charging. So, and this is called the Portable Solar Generator. Now, let's look on this side. The specs. And the uh, capacity is a 42,000 42, milliamp at 3.7 volts, 155 watt hours. I don't know if you guys can see this, if I can zoom in a little closer or bring it closer to you. Okay, so the uh, dimensions is 195 by 90 by 171 millimeters. Weight is about 1.58 kgs. It's got a built-in battery, high-quality lithium-ion battery. How are you doing, buddy? Yeah. Okay, so we got... Um, so solar panel charging this is the uh, MPPT 13 volts, 22 volts up to 2.1 amps max. Fully charged time is DC, so it's 15 volts slash 2 amps. It takes about seven to eight hours to fully charge this up. And the USB output is uh, has three USB outputs. And they charge at 5 volts at 2.1 amps max. DC output has three DC outs, uh, 12.6 volts slash 10 amps, 15 amps max. AC output 100 watts. It says modified sin wave output. Okay, so it has the bulb type, has the ultra bright LED flashlight built into it. Power indicator, which is LED indicators. Operation temperature range is minus 10 to 40 Celsius. Okay, life cycle, 500 times. <coughs> wow, you think it'd be more than that. So this is the version 110 volts, 60 hertz. Let's just take a quick look inside the box. On this side here it says, this is what it will run. So it says take an AC outlet anywhere. And it says lantern light, 5 watts, 31 hours. And you have your iPhone SX. Or I guess the X. Yeah, XS. <laughs> 24 recharges. Um, iPad mini 4, 8 recharges. Laptop, 50 watts, 3 hours. Car refrigerator, 3.8 hours. Made in China, designed in Toronto, Canada. And there's your information there. Let's just turn around here. It says Aim Tom. It says let's go places with power. And where we go with Aim Tom Portable Power Station. AimTom.com. So let's just take a quick look inside the packaging. So in here it says welcome to Aimtom. And then you get a pamphlets. So just let you have a quick look at it here. It says Aimtom guaranteed. Let you so you can read that. And on the bottom here, it 
And you have your frequently asked questions. Nice feature to this hooks up to a solar charging panel. And I think the solar charging panel max charging would be uh, 25 watts. So if, uh, if you want to use an SPS 440 to power your MacBook Pro Air, which has a continuous power output of 25 watts measured against the unit's normally capacity of 403 watts hours. You would calculate the available, so this is not that, solar panel selection. This is we recommend 60 watts at 200 watt solar panel with a voltage at maximum power VMP. Of 13 volts to 24 volts DC never use higher than 24 volts DC to recharge the power station you can even use this battery to jumpstart your car battery this is power station waterproof uh, no so here's in the bottom Thank you for choosing an Intong and some information there. So here's the portable uh, solar generation universal instruction manual. Just give you a quick look at this in case you guys need to see it. Saves me having to read it all out to you. So the universal outlets. It's got USB outlet outputs. And it has 5.5mm uh, mm DC outputs. Okay, so let's just take a quick look at the packaging. How they get a package in here. As you can see. So in here would be your cables. Get the camera down here for a minute so we can get it open. <coughs> so first up it would be your DC charge. This is a model SAW30 amp. 152,000 U input 100 240 volts 50 slash 60 Hertz I'll just let you guys look at that in case you need an adapter for this to replace so that's for charging in your house this one here is for using your panels and I know you can buy uh, different charging plugins for your solar panels for different connections this is one of them that comes with this kit like a cigarette lighter outfit about four inches long and there goes the camera. And your other option is a car charge for your cigarette lighter. It's got a little red light here to let you know it's charging. And the cable's about, uh, oh, I'd say probably six feet long. 
if you're going to use your car to charge this battery, make sure your car is running as you're charging. Because it will drain your battery down. So, they give you a nice little protective cover. Here's the item, the battery. Nothing else in the box. So just set it to the side. And the battery is tiny. down there for a minute okay so on this side of the battery it says multi-purpose power station and bring it closer so you can see this is solar chargeable 42,000 milliamps battery 155 watt hour 100 watts on this side it has the Indicator for your battery, how much power you have left in your battery. It probably goes out after, yep. Yeah. Uh, AC output. So if you want to use your AC plug-in, you have to turn it on first. And this stays on, let you know how much battery you got as you're using your AC. To not use it anymore, turn it off. And then you have on the bottom, this is Aimtom Solar Generator, Lithium Batteries, has all your information down there. And it looks like it's held together with these little screws, probably going clear through the case, so you can change out your battery if it ever goes bad, top and bottom. Okay, on this side, we have three USB outputs. Like we said, they're only five volts, two amps. DC output, 12 volts on the bottom. I don't know, know what you'd be using them for. Um, then you have, on this side, you have a light, and then here's where you charge your battery. DC input on your light has a switch right here which is quite bright LED which would come quite handy it has a flash and you hit it again and off whenever you use anything on this battery the battery light comes on So, it's very tiny and it's quite light. Not much to the little battery. It's on the bottom here. See, there's a hole. I don't know what it's for. But anyway, it's quite light. So, the reason why I bought this was to use it for charging, camping, like camping uh, charging our cell phones uh, using their tablets lights LED light bulbs um, little mini cooler you can use to keep your stuff cold uh, running your pumps for your air mattresses um, but mainly I got it for home for now you know, because you never know when the power goes out this here will charge a lot of devices up. This, this here will run your home router probably for a good, probably eight, eight hours. Uh, when did they say how long it was on the packaging? Uh, right here. So it will do a laptop three hours at 50 watts. Um, car refrigerator, 3.8 hours. So I'd say if you're going to be able to want to use this to back up your internet when it goes out, your modem, it'd probably run it for a good six or six or eight hours. So anyways, I'm going to use this for a little while. Um, I'll do a review on this little item. I will be purchasing a bigger one. This one here is just small for little, for little stuff. But... Uh, 
this was a Christmas gift so I'm going to be purchasing a bigger unit for uh, you know using power tools charging batteries and stuff like that and uh, but this here was going to be a good start for me for around the home for what I'm going to need it for right now but uh, stay tuned I will be uh, doing buy another one and doing a review on that as well um, I do recommend before you use this to make sure it's fully charged I know it indicates that it's fully charged but plug it in the wall leave it for a little while then completely drain it down then completely fill the charge back up again that keeps did it about probably three or four times that way you'll know you're gonna get good life out of your battery that's in this so anyways you guys that's the Ying Tom little uh, power station and uh, I'll do a review on it. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment down below, and I'll try to answer as much as I possibly can. Um, if you'd like me to try something with this, just to see if it'll work with your purpose, go ahead and ask. I'll try to do something for you. But uh, this is just a quick unboxing. Review will be coming up later on, you guys. So thanks for watching. Later.